What's good, Grindology family? Today we're breaking down Ashton Hall's viral leg day. That's five exercises, all weighted, no rest. And I put my body through it so you don't have to. And afterwards, we're breaking down exactly why this is effective or not. At face value, this workout leverages heavy mechanical tension and metabolic stress, which are two key hypertrophy drivers. But scientifically, cumulative neuromuscular fatigue destroys movement integrity. There's too many risks involved. But we're going to break down why this programming won't work. Okay, right out the gate, we have heavyweight goblet squats. This is a, a great movement for your quads, but it's horrible programming. Opening with heavy compounds when you're fresh, that's how you sabotage stability for later movements. All right, moving the lateral lunges under load. No doubt, it's great for glute medius, but your stabilizers are already tweaking from the squats. And doing these fatigue, you're asking for some type of knee strain. Now, if you notice here, it's a change of scenery. I just felt crazy even doing these. We have jump pulses with added weight. So we're basically sacrificing control for momentum on the spinal load, which is another risky movement. Plyometrics at the heavy squats multiplies your joint stress. I don't understand the science. Okay, we're rolling. Now we have front elevated reverse lunges. Now this is a great stretch when you're fresh and you know energized. But after three exercises, at this point your nervous system is too fatigued and your form will suffer. Okay, our final exercise, my knees are so happy we're done. We have alternating lunges to failure on a deficit. Intentional failure after exhaustive compound work? That's not training, but it is good content, so do your thing, my boy. Okay, what we have all been waiting for, our final reaction. Simple, it's three fatal programming flaws. Priority failure. Heavy compounds should anchor your workouts, not open them. Now I understand you wanna get that shot value early in your video. Two, synergy neglect. Jump pulses after squats. That's spinal compression waiting to happen. And number three, fatigue farming. Training to failure on depleted legs is asking for injuries. But in conclusion, in my opinion, this program just wouldn't work. It's going to get somebody hurt. It is great for clicks and content, and I get that, but I wouldn't try this at home. Peace.